Dirty charcoal. The children will be here soon, Ira. No, don't worry. Larry and you, they're always late. <laughs> Don and Jean, what with the kids and that old jalopy. Look, Grandpa's starting the fire. Can we have Grandpa? <laughs> no car trouble today. <laughs> Hello, darling. How are you? We made it. Oh, hey, old dear. That's the eldest son, Don. Hi. His wife, Jean. Their children. Being outdoors to relax, to eat, to have fun. But to work? Well, let's face it. A backyard barbecue is work, unless you plan it. Planning can make it fun for everyone, even the hosts and hostess. And while the man in your life will take all the credit, you plan your barbecue just as you do any other party. May prefer one of these portable grills that you can move around quickly and easily, wherever you like, even onto the porch if it rains. Whichever style grill you use, the right kind of fire is very important. Get it lighted and going well before your guests arrive. Never barbecue over flames. You want gentle, steady heat. If you use charcoal as we do, wait about 30 minutes until you have a good bed of coals underneath the whole grill. This gives the chef time to help you with the heavy work. There's nothing like a big basket for toting bulky barbecue equipment. It saves time, it saves steps, and you don't drop or lose things between your kitchen and your table outdoors. Steak is always popular, and it doesn't have to be expensive either. Economical chuck steak, if you tenderize it beforehand, is wonderful for barbecuing. Mmm, is that tantalizing? Here's a good way to serve it. Carve chuck steak across the grain. and make barbecue sandwiches with good thick slices on a crusty loaf of bread. Cut it on the slant for generous serving. Or you barbecue it. Always start with the inside down. This sauce for chicken barbecue is flavored with lemon and herbs. If the oil from the sauce makes the fire flare up, a small sprinkler helps keep it under control. Be sure your chicken is well done. If the leg joint moves easily, it's ready to eat. Serve with tossed green salad and a gay basket of sliced buttered hot bread. If your man really fancies himself as an expert chef, here's a barbecue idea. Let him try his hand at shish kebab. Everyone can help put the food on these long metal skewers. You alternate pieces of lamb, green pepper, onion. So, serve broiled tomato wedges with your shish kebab. But remember, tomatoes cook quickly, so start them later when the kebabs are almost ready. Everybody loves barbecued lamb and shish kebab. And everybody loves a well-planned barbecue. Even the lady who makes the plans. So when the man in your house says, let's have a barbecue, you know what to say. You know what to do. A good barbecue is good fun for everyone. Yes, for everyone. And even installers eventually settle down to a little well-deserved recreation. Talk about your rough day. Boy, being a salesman is no cinch. Everybody thinks all you have to do is call on people, shake hands, pass the time of day, and then come out with a big fat order. They don't realize the jerks you have to call on during the course of a day. It tells something of OBC services in helping. Hey, Chuck, this steak sauce is great. Can I have a formula? This is the season for outdoor cooking with a gas grill. This is a bone chuck roast, tenderized, and Mr. Tittle starts it on the gas grill at the high heat setting. When the surface is brown, the gas flame is turned to low. 
Even at the low setting, the ceramic coals are cooking with infrared rays. This is a lesson. Enjoy seafood at a clam bake. And beef, cooked the Texas way at a barbecue, just doesn't come any better. The urge for dining under open sky has brought about a vigorous trend toward cooking in one's own backyard, no matter how much room there is. Here, a family can have the pleasures of picnicking and still enjoy the advantages of being at home. The enthusiasm for cooking al fresco prompted this interesting development, a new outdoor appliance for greater convenience, cleanliness, and versatility. Charcoal? Not at all. These are ceramic rocks. They are heated by the gas burner underneath. And when the ceramic is hot, it produces infrared rays, which intensify the heat of the gas flames. To start the gas grill, gas is turned on here. The burner is lighted, and you can start cooking immediately. No starter fluid required, no charcoal to handle, and no ashes afterward. A gas grill can be permanently installed in its own buried gas line, or used with a portable bottle of LP gas. To a pack. Here's an interesting combination that makes a perfect outdoor meal. A frankfurter, slit down the middle, stuffed with cheese and pickle, and wrapped in bacon. The chef, Y.A. Tittle, better known for passing a pigskin than for broiling bacon, but quite adept as well at putting together a hot meal on a cold day on an outdoor grill. The star quarterback for the New York football giants and the San Francisco 49ers has several fine ideas for outdoor eating during outdoor sports. The wrapped franks are placed on the gas grill, turned to a low heat. When the bacon looks well done, so are the franks. Toast the rolls. Everything should be hot on a cold, cold day. YA holds to the view that if you're dressed for outdoor sports, cook and eat outside too. Drop it into a toasted roll. Of course, a mug of steaming coffee. We well, get along fine, as long as it rains a little bit. When you hit a drought, though, things can get pretty tough. All you can do then, I guess, is just... Most cans. Any reason. Store it out of the house in a safety container. Never in a glass jug or unapproved plastic. But everything will taste better. 50 cents a pack. This thing didn't cost me anything at all. <laughs> Congratulations, George. Yeah. 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 Yeah.